Okay guys, Whew. okay, I don't have much time to talk. I've got six minutes and we gotta do this fast. I came home late, kind of, all right? We only do 30 minutes per rush right now for today. So we're gonna have to go very, very freaking fast. So we're just gonna do this, boom, there. We gotta do something else. We're gonna do, hmm, all right. Uh, whew, 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 whew. Let's pick a different one, boom. While I'm with this first one, second one, we can just do something like this. Switch this out for Teor, yeah? No, Theo Mars. All right, so we're gonna be going very, very fast here. This is Guild War fights. We're gonna be doing six of them. This is Guild War Rush. This is something that I'm gonna be planning on for Saturdays. And I, like I said, I got my schedule set up and everything like that. So Saturdays are going to be my Guild War days. And essentially, I'm gonna try to have themes for each Guild War day. Like today, I might, I would have done like no healer. We might just do that since uh, healers kind of, they kind of, I don't know. They bug me sometimes. It's kind of cheating in a sense. So we might do that. How does that sound, guys? Good? Awesome. All right. Whew. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going like about a million miles per hour, and I'm just trying to get these fights done. I got six minutes to do three fights. We're starting off with Crazy Monkeys, um, the guild. So it is Guild War Rush, essentially. If you guys don't know what that means, it, it means that we're using swords very, very fast. We're using six swords on a Saturday, and basically we're trying to uh, skyrocket into rank one, there's a few guilds that do this. We do it pretty well. Uh, we have really good defense rates as well. We get uh, legends rank quite a bit. All right, actually, this is a good one. Let's just attack a destroyed opponent. We can do this. Yeah, that works. Uh, mainly because it's uh, like a water fire type comp. I'm just gonna hope that Orion gets resisted or whatnot. But if we lose, it's whatever. I just want to use my wings. I just want to use them, okay? Not wings, swords. What am I talking about? Are we gonna get fucked? Oh my god, are we gonna get fucked? Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Alright, so look, 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 look. Check this one out. Oh, Violent Proc! Woo! Violent Proc to save the day. Freeze Galleon. AoE defense break. Okay, we wanna be careful here. We don't want to actually kill Perno. That freeze is gonna be very good, alright? Uh, shut up, Kathy. Keithy. We're not ready, uh, yet. I'm not ready yet. So give me a second here. He's gonna revive. Right there. So we just killed him. Revive. Okay, and that's a problem because now we have to put on all of the debuffs again on him and we're not ready. All right, fuck you, Perna, and we'll just auto this. Whew. All right, and after this fight, we're just going to cut and like really just cut and edit uh, each fight. So it's like, I'll look for one, blah, 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 cut it, boom, to the next fight. So hopefully that uh, will go smoothly. This is the first time I'm doing Guild War Rush. And we're done, boom. Did you even notice that edit right there? Did you see that cut? Oh no! Network connection delay. Please, please don't disconnect. Whew. Okay, we almost disconnected there. So if you guys don't ever want to disconnect, uh, we actually got outsped there, surprisingly. But if you guys don't want to disconnect, what you have to do is don't click it right away, okay? If you click it right away, it's gonna just kick you out. You gotta wait a few seconds and then assume that it reconnects, whatnot, blah, 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 and then you're good to go. So this one is Bernard Derp. This is why I don't ever, you know, I don't ever suggest doing a Galleon Bernard type team. Even if it's with Zyros, they could just bruiser the hell out of you. Don't do it. It's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But I think it's a trap defense since he is running a level 35 Bernard that's faster than mine, which is like 285 or something like that. So my Bernard's not incredibly slow. He's just kind, kind of, sort of slow. So I, get, I think it's kind of a trap defense, but didn't work. Bye bye You're dead. And the thing with this type of defense, too, is he only had Zyros as a, an attacker. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no! Sierra's so broken, though. I was playing around with Sierra today on someone else's account, and oh my god, is she broken. But I think if we stun... Yes? Yeah! Yes! Oh! Whew. Oh! But we didn't... Oh, we didn't activate his Endure. Just now we did. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can, can we do it? Oh, no! 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 You gotta be kidding me! No! Oh, and he stunned me again with those Orion! Oh my god, you're such a lucky son of- What? Oh, you guys ended it on me. What the fuck? Well, I guess my guild uh, didn't want to do, or didn't want to, do, to wait, because there was someone else attacking the guild and they didn't want to uh, allow them the chance to claim before us, because then we get less points 
So if we look at our defense rate, we're actually at a 69.3% defense rate, giggity. And uh, we're doing pretty well this week. Last week we didn't do so hot. We got hit by a lot of guilds that could clear us, but there's a lot of guilds that can't clear us, even up in the top 10, uh, which is nice because it gives us a lot of wins going into it. So our defense, we've got corrupted on uh, as our last attack, or as our last defense, of course, and then they actually lost to us. So that means we don't have anyone attacking us for this entire rush until there's other guilds that might be rushing and they might hit us, but we've got Obliterate, Oblivion, and Absolute Void up at the top. So these are non-rush guilds, so we're going to pass them no matter what. There's like absolutely no way that we will not pass these guys. Inked Guns and Malicious are our only competition. I don't know if Inked Guns is actually rushing, but they might be. That's a mystery. Malicious apparently only rushes uh, like three weeks of the, of the month or something. Like. I don't know. I don't know what goes on with Malicious, but I don't know if they're rushing or not. Um, but we are for sure rushing, and I think that's I think that's it. I think we're good to go. EFA might be rushing too. Uh, I don't know about actually I'm pretty sure they are they don't rush two days or two weeks uh, Because they have Hall of Heroes and then they have the free rune removal But it's neither of that this weekend, so they should be rushing So we're actually going to attack get ducked and that's just because we want to get ducked on him Okay, well, we got to like hurry up and finish this. Holy shit. So we're gonna run ah mm, Should I run a safe healer? Com I kind of feel like it's the only option I have at this point because if we don't, then I might end up getting screwed by this first team because I don't. I only have Wombo set up. I could try bombs, but my bomb team isn't like ready yet, uh, and I don't really have anything else to really run. And I can't run another my second galleon because you can't run two of the same unit. Boom! All right, there goes the first one, but he's gonna revive. And Molly's a bitch, so we're gonna go for Molly. This is probably one of the most bitch mode defenses I've faced in a while. And that's just because this guy's putting a really good single reviver that's good in guild war defenses with molly who's just a bitch in general but i think we should be fine fuck you oh violent proc no oh of course he gets the violent proc we need to make sure that if theomars gets revived we need to just kill theomars again because as long as theomars is dead he's going to be keep getting revived and we don't have to worry about molly and molly is honestly like the worst part of it so you know what no we're going for theomars fuck theomars Bye, you're gone, you're dead, okay? You're dead. All right, so we're done with that, thankfully. And we didn't get RNG screwed on this defense, and it's just Varad. So I think we'll be okay on this one. We just set it up, boom, boom, boom. Stun, stun. Oh, there we go. That's the only one, those are the only two stuns that we needed. Goodbye, see you later. So I kind of feel like using Varad a little bit, so we're gonna actually attack Gusta, Gusta, Gustin's tall. All right, so this first one set up wombo boom stun There you go. All right, so we did stun him boom. Oh someone got a chimera. Oh, oh That's Rakan. All right, so we uh, wiped out his first team. We got to make sure that yeah See we made the right decision guys and he had shield runes. He had shield runes, too So if we had a mirror on this one, it would be actually pretty decent because look at all these. Oh, okay. 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 We have to be very careful here very careful we missed oh he derped he derped oh what the fuck so we missed the stupid freeze on poseidon but his unit derped so what we can do is get rid of okeanos because that's like the main thing here that okeanos was actually like stun us for a long time he'll reset someone and that's actually not a good thing. So we want to get rid of him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't stun, don't stun, don't stun. Okay. And uh, yeah, he's definitely dead. Bye. Now we go for the Poseidon. Like the Juno's not going to really do much. And especially because we brought a healer in. It's like whatever. I don't know. I guess we'll check his defense logs and see how he's been doing. Uh, maybe it's like doing okay for him. But yeah, no, definitely, definitely not. Nope. That second defense is not doing so hot for you, man. Oh, okay, so it looks like our guildies are having a little bit of trouble against Sirion. So we're going to try to show him up. And we're going to try to do good on this one. So if we look at his defense log, he actually has um, AK-47 lost to his first one. OMG Bomber lost to his second one. So that second one does actually have some RNG potential because of Orion. Second one, not so... Or first one, not so much. So the first one, since he's kind of just running that similar Eladriel Theomars, some light dark LD Nat 5 or whatever... Like, instead of Molly, it was, it's Wadam. Whoa, 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 so scary. Here's actually an interesting little thing. If I attack his Theomars right here and put a dot on him and his Theomars goes, any violent procs, he'll actually die. So we're going to try that since, oh, 
no, we got resisted. So what we can do is actually, we're going to, we're gonna hit him because it's not gonna kill him, okay? It's gonna trigger Quadum, yeah, okay. So we need to start, ooh, now, I just realized, Eladriel can revive Quadum full health. Oh my God, that's so bitch mode. Oh, all right, we're gonna skip forward big time, guys. Oh my gosh. Can you get any more violent procs than you already are? Oh my god, you're so lucky, dude. All right, can we, can we, can we kill him? Thank you. Oh my god, but his Eladriel is gonna revive him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I wanted to kill a Theo Mars before he revived Quadam. Oh my god. Oh, oh, we did it. Oh my god. I don't care if we lost just soon. We at least did it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I got a violent proc. Ah, oh, you're so bad. Ah, oh, you're so fucked. Oh. oh my god, the one time violent procs go in my favor. Holy shit. We gotta be careful. If we lose Theomars, but we end up killing the the or we if we lose our Theomars and end up having to kill his, and we don't have time to revive, we're kind of kind of fucked right there, you know? That happened to me before. Alright, so we need to land defense break. There we go. We're good to go. He's got shield runes. I did add a little bit of attack power to my Poseidon. So he has shield runes. So, you know, he does over 24k damage there. And kaboom! Ready? Oh, look at that. 18? Is that almost 19k per hit? So I'm, almost, I'm climbing up there towards 40k AoE with Tosi. And honestly, I could do more, but I, the reason it's going up is one, because I'm getting more grindstones, and two, we're actually almost done upgrading this light sanctuary all the way, it's at level seven. All right, so next up we have Absolute Void. So if you guys don't know who Absolute Void is, they are also another G3 guild with very, very many uh, G3 and G2 players and G1 players as well. So we're actually gonna pick our targets and then we're going to fuck these guys. So. Actually, we're going to run the Wombo on the second one, just so I can show you guys how easily counterable it is to do the uh, against the Orion, Chisun, Theomars. And against this first one, we're actually going to run a, an Orion, because I'm pretty sure my Orion is faster than his. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in Teor. I just wanna freaking YOLO it. I don't know who has will runes, I don't know. It's risky. Oh, see, we made the right choice because, see, Orion can strip that from him. He can strip one immunity, and he only has one immunity. So that's just asking to get Orion, like, over and over and over. So if we pull him again, I'll know, and then I can just Orion him. So we can just, boom, donkey punch in words of scat fetus and get rid of him. Then watch, we can boom. Oh, we, we got resisted. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I need to adjust the uh, delay on my recording software versus my phone because there is a delay with the HTPR, but I think it's it's okay. Virat is probably single-handedly one of the best units in the game. He is the king of CC. He is insane as a, as a crowd control unit. He is so good. Absolutely terrifying because his third skill and his second skill have such short cooldowns. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And we got absolutely screwed over because we got stunned on Lagmaron. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. That's not cool. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, so if we can... Oh, my God. We got so... <clears throat> Bad RNG. Bad RNG. But, whoa, whoa, he survived. <gasps> he survived. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, your Orion's so dumb, he could have picked off a mirror right then and there. Oh my gosh. So we're actually going to be attacking this guy right here, which is Cloud Whiskey. I actually already picked out my team, and I just want to show you guys why running this kind of like full fire or nearly full fire defense just doesn't really work. I'm, I hope I don't really eat my words, but even if he does put defense break, I actually should still get his Rakan attacking my Ramagos. Now he does actually slow and he does decrease the attack gauge by 50% on his third skill so it is kind of sketchy but we don't and we don't have a revive either but we're gonna try this out we also have a full wind uh wombo team or cleave team going against that second one just like against caranthier so kablawi get out of here get out of here and kablawi get out of here i wonder how much rom damage ramagos does on like almost a full hp bar let's check let's check let's check he does, he, oh <laughs> he did 10 damage. All right, so actually, I think we're, yes, yeah, so we didn't get screwed on this one. His Orion kind of derped, so he didn't have the chance to strip anything. 
and our galleon was the one that was targeted which is the best one to get targeted because he has like 35k hp so it's just an easy kablu kablu bomb oh we missed a crit oh that's stupid just soon ah oh, motherfucking just soon whatever she already buffed no huh. don't die on me don't die on me galleon oh my god we almost lost galleon all right so since we actually had a guildmate get a draw against Kingor. We're actually going to use our last sword on Kingor. We actually going to we were going to use it against Baryon, but uh, we need to do priorities and we need to actually win this fight. So I'm actually going to try to outspeed him. I got a 24% speed leader skill on my Bernard. That should be enough to outspeed him. I've got a full ATB decreasing skill and I've got uh, an AOE. I don't really have Ooh, okay. Well, whatever. We're going to tag it. We're almost done with the guild battle, so might as well just go for it. First one is going to be easy win unless his Orion gets lucky. Is he going to get lucky? Is he going to get lucky? Any dirt. Awesome. So now we're actually set. Unless Vileproc? No, okay. So now we just do our normal shebang. We got 99% crit rate on Poseidon and we just crit on Sierra right here. It's cuz I got the crit animation. Oh, but we didn't, ah, oh, damn, we didn't kill Perna. That's a problem because now the Perna, oh, it's not a problem because this is our last source, so it doesn't matter if we lose Amir. Our Amir's pretty tanky too, like, oh, oh, <laughs> there you go. That's, that's, that's a tanky Amir for you. So we outsped him, buff up. We're going to, we're going to decrease and stun his Theomars so that Theomars, there's no damage unless it's, you know, the Theomars. We're going to squall. Boom. No! Forgot. We need defense break. I should have saved that. And she's going to heal. Alright. Can we get a crit on this Theomars and activate the Endure? <gasps> yes! Yes! Because we got the crit. I don't know how we got the crit, but whatever. We're going to put Branding on the Iona. Did... Yep. Yeah. Okay, we got Branding on the Iona. Oh, we got a Violent Proc. Okay. Uh... Oh, we, oh, okay, we kept branding again. <laughs> We're gonna put branding on the Bernard. Uh, wait. Oh, no, wait. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, no violent procs. No violent procs allowed here. And then we're gonna AoE. Boom. We're gonna AoE that shit. Oh, wait. Oh, what the fuck? We didn't. Oh my god, we didn't kill the Mars. Oh, we got a violent proc! And we're gonna AoE decrease. Oh, shit. We didn't decrease it all the way. Donkey Punch. Get the fuck out of here. All right, and that wraps it up. That that just about wraps it up, and that's why you don't run that. You don't run that Theo Mars Iona team. And boom, we pulled Malicious. So Malicious is rushing. Look at that. Oh, and Inked Guns is rushing. Oh, what the? F oh, they just hit Malicious, didn't they? Oh, you slimy little fucks. We're gonna pull you next, okay? So we got Inked Guns and Malicious on our tails, but we're gonna hit Malicious down even further. We've got no one up on us. We want to pull Inked Guns, and I think we should be good for that legend. So the first one we're going to be attacking is actually Xylophones? Xylophones? Full whale rune team. That's just that's just freaking great. But you know what? Actually, actually, we're gonna you're, we're gonna use this third skill on someone else. We're gonna use it on Theomars. Don't get resisted. Boom. And then that way we can actually reset both of them like that, right? Easy peasy. And now the Huadam is gonna do some stupid yeah stupid shit like that. And then I think we're good to go. But we did reset Theomars, so I think that's that's pretty self-explanatory. He's gonna die, but it's gonna be guarded by Thwadam. Oh, oh my God, he's getting so many freaking violent procs. Can you like stop violent procing, man? Every time we come up against a Theomars, it's like violent proc, violent proc, violent proc. But you know what? You know what I say to that? Fuck your Theomars. He's about to die. I don't know who to attack you. We're gonna reset that Perna. We're gonna reset that Perna because he can't do anything anymore. But we're gonna lose our Orion unless we Violent Proc. Hey! <laughs> god, I hate Violent Rune so much. Oh my god, like... Oh my god. Yeah, we lost. We lost Orion. Bye, Orion. Oh my god, another one? Oh my god. Fuck off, dude. Alright, well, whatever. We reset the Perna. Perna's dead. Theomars is dead. Oh, and Wadam died too. Well, see, yeah, we're slow enough that the Wombo is gonna work. He had full will runes. This guy loves his will runes. He was running full will, will runes on the first team, too. Fuck your will runes. That's what I say to that. Your Chisun's not going to solo us. Get wrecked, son. Next up that we're going to be hitting is A27 Pride. Now, we're mainly hitting A27 Pride because uh, we just want to destroy this motherfucker. And um, he's actually running a pretty easy to counter defense. So we're going to run this defense right here, or offense, except we're going to throw in Lisa. So this is a very good counter 
to his type of playstyle because now we've got Lisa that's going to increase the attack gauge by 20% because he's going to remove both immunity and the attack buff from Chasun. And then we also basically have a built-in violent proc, which is super convenient. The second defense, we don't have Orion anymore, which really, really sucks. That actually is like a huge kind of hit for us. So what we're going to do is we're actually, we're going to bring in Sekhmet. We're going to bring in Sekhmet. We're going to reset that Perna, and hopefully it's enough to draw away the Perna's attention. We can bring in Praha just to remove the buff. And then we have Virad in there, of course, to clean up the damage. And we're going to hit that Theomars. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, my God. <sighs> my fucking Violent Procs, dude. Fucking Violent Procs. I swear to God. These Violent Procs are going to be the death of this game. <sighs> so we're going to reset the Perna. Don't violent proc me. Please don't violent proc me. Please, 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 please. We're gonna, oh, we, we should have saved that. That's fine, it's whatever. We're gonna strip this. I just wanna finish this up, this fucking fight, man. I, I hate violent proc so much. No, screw your stupid defense break. We'll put on attack. Oh, nope, nope, we didn't actually put that on. Can you like stop buffing? Oh my God, like just die, die, die. Fucking die, Mihail, oh my God. Mihail is probably one of the most annoying units on Guild War Defense. So we're actually going to reset the Perna again, just to be safe. And also we're stealing a defense buff and attack buff, which will help us big time. And then we're going to just throw on, boom, dead, right? Okay, so now we'll just auto this. It's pretty much just straight auto from here. Oh, she's still healing. <laughs> I got resisted. She's got high resistance, man. Like, look at that shit. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're done with this. I don't even want to look back on this fight. That was a very undeserved draw right there. You know, 827, you got really fucking lucky there, dude. Really freaking lucky. So one of the things I actually noticed is that some of these people have been switching their defenses around, or at least it seems like it, because this, I swear, the Sekhmet Ritesh Praha defense was in the first spot. And now it's in the second one. So one thing I noticed a lot of people doing when they know, like, if, like, uh, swag's attacking them or if other guilds are attacking them or they see scat streaming it uh, or claytano streaming it and they're attacking their guild they start switching their defenses around trying to like screw you over honestly that's pretty freaking annoying and kind of a low blow uh, i'm not gonna lie i've done it before <laughs> Shh, don't say anything but it's pretty low blow guys i i highly I don't encourage doing it, okay? Don't do it. It's it's an asshole move. If you do it, you're an asshole, okay? All right, so it looks like the last green on this list, or soon to be yellow, is actually Becca. So we're going to hit Becca, and we're going to wombo the shit out of her. I don't know what we're going to do against that second defense, because we really don't have much to counter it. Actually, ooh, 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 ooh. Could we? Could we reset her Chloe? Is her Chloe slow? We could reset her Chloe. Don't have to worry about any of that shit. And then we could bring in some other type of team. But the only thing is, I don't really have... I'm not strong on the wind units, guys. You guys know this. I'm really not... <gasps> Ooh. Could we? Oh, my God. I'm going to be taking a big risk here. <gasps> oh, my God. Could we? Could we? I think we can. We're going to... We can do it. We can do it, guys. So the first one up... Oh, his Orion derped, but that's okay. His Theomars is fast enough for the will runes to get out of here. That means we don't have to worry. Actually, we don't have to worry about any of the revenge procs. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Are you, oh my God. I need to make a video in the future about uh, accuracy and resistance. I actually did some uh, testing myself on violent runes. And um, I just want to explain to you guys violent runes in the, in the future, okay? And it's not 22% total for violent procs. It's, I'm just telling you now, if this makes sense... It's 22% chance for the first violent proc. After that, it's completely different. So the total amount of chance that you have to violent proc is is much more than just 22%. All right, so we just absolutely don't get resisted. Don't get resisted. Don't get resisted. Please, 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 please. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. And I think we should be... Oh, 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 oh ready? Come on, come on. Oh my God, is it really only on the Monkey King? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Okay, so we cannot lose. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Can we? No. We can't lose the, the freaking water guy, okay? Chandra is going to be targeting Sekhmet, hopefully. But if... <sighs> we should be okay. Oh my... Oh my god. Dude, chill. Oh my god. 
All right, so we're gonna actually reset the Chandra so there's no shenanigans of that AOE going off. We have our skill up, so now we just need, please, 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 please don't die, please don't die. Katarina, you cannot die. Katarina, you cannot die. You sexy beast, you. Oh my god, my god. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Okay, it's a moment of truth. Please, please. Oh! Ah, we crit on the last one! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Okay, so I guess Oblivion hit inked guns and knocked them down quite a bit. So we're going to be hitting Malicious, knocking Malicious back down. We're not getting hit by anyone. Hopefully inked guns doesn't pull us. That means they have, I think, one or two swords left, which means they have uh, a small chance to pull us. But we have two swords left, and we might be able to pull them. If we pull inked guns, it's GG. We got legend rank, period. Unless Malicious or inked guns pull us. But unless they can pull us, we are in legend like 100% oblivion is a non-rush guild i don't are they rushing they just pulled early i don't know i don't know if they pulled early i don't yeah we're just gonna move on to the next fight all right guys so uh my guild is like right now completely fucked uh not my full guild but like there's like pretty much 10 people missing uh at least five to six but you know there was 10 people missing last war it took us uh, around 45 minutes to clear our sword and honestly that's just absolutely too long okay so for people that rush you know that 30 minutes is the way that we do it and we spent almost twice that amount on one sword we have two swords left this one and then one more after this and we only have 39 minutes uh don't think that we're gonna be able to do it with like 10 people missing out of our 23 we have 23 on our attack roster and 10 people were missing last war that's almost that's that's almost half Okay, so that's completely fucked. So we're gonna have to play it super safe. We can't screw around here with like, like with that Katarina team that we were doing. We have to play it super freaking safe. Oh my god, so here's a good example of uh, malicious, or not malicious per se, I, I mean every guild does it, but like, for an example of someone switching their defense, remember? We hit this guy and he had his quad am thing on the first one, and then he had his rat on the second one. A good example, but you know what? We know that we can beat him right here, see, Reefy? So we're gonna, we're gonna absolutely just dominate this guy. But yeah, like, sorry if like, I'm just kind of like really pissed off right now. It's just, we have such a great guild and a lot of our members are missing and that's just absolutely inexcusable. So I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of people next week are going to be getting benched. Like that is just, that is absolutely not excusable. Like, have you guys ever lost a war, a guild war, because people just didn't show up? And it's, it's actually more serious for us since it's a rush. You know, it's not like, oh, you got 12 hours to use it. Oh, I was just busy for 12 hours. No, no, no. This guild is dedicated to this very moment on this very day. So to be gone on this day consistently, why are you in this guild? Like, that that's basically it. That's, that is, that is the deal right there. Um, so, uh, let's please, like, don't get stunned, please. So we have, we have Perna stunned. That's fine. We'll pop this Endure. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Damn it, I thought... Damn it, I thought we were going to get a violent proc. <sighs> Shit. So we actually... Please don't violent proc. Okay. <sighs> what we're going to do is we're going to do that so that... Oh, we got a stun off. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. <sighs> that's... 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 That's sketchy. That's very sketchy. Another thing with Wadam that I really like is that even if you like he shares his HP, it doesn't kill the unit so they don't revive with like out their debuffs. It just makes it so that it shares the HP, which is super convenient. So I can put on all of this CC. This is how you handle these types of teams. You put on a shit ton of CC and then you just keep hitting them down and eventually they'll start dying off like this, right? Oh, we shouldn't have done that because now he's going to get a crit off. And we lost Orion. Um, oh, we, <gasps> we didn't lose Orion? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> how did we not lose Orion? Oh my god, that's a weak Perna. Oh my god. What are you doing? What? Why is that Perna so weak? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And yeah, that pretty much just about sums it up. I don't think he's going to be winning this defense. His burn is just too weak to take out a unit at this point. So uh, it's a good defense, guys, if you want to copy it. If you got quite a diamond burn and Theomars. But, uh, you know, if you got Varad, it just doesn't really work. All right, you know what? We're actually going to get some revenge on this motherfucker. We're going to try... Actually, can we do... <sighs> could... 
Is Orion better for this situation? I think Orion's better for this situation, since we didn't lose Orion, but the last time we lost Orion. We're getting revenge on A27 Pride. Uh, hopefully no one's attacking him. Doesn't look like it. I, um, I've i been disconnecting from chat nonstop. So I think what we're going to do against the second defense, same thing, but I think we're going to be forced to run Iona. We just need to kill Theomars. We're playing it safe here, guys. We can't, you know, test anything. We just got to go for it. Um, I don't know, shit, I hope, I hope a guildmate just, like, crashed or something. And uh, yeah. Uh, no, we started right when they did. Damn it. <sighs> Fuck. All right, whatever. Oh, my God. This is a tanky Theomars. Jesus. But... We're getting a lot of violence. Oh my god. Um, shit, can we pop his endure? No, we can't pop his endure. God damn it. See, this is exactly why I brought uh, Iona. Because we're going to have to revive Theomars here, like guaranteed. Uh, I probably should have saved that heal there. Uh, violent proc, violent proc, violent proc. Oh, shit, yeah, we definitely lost uh, him. So, at this point, we're just going to have to revive... Uh, get reset, everything like that. I hope we don't lose any more units. We cannot afford the losses or draws or anything like that. Um, we really can't, guys. We're absolutely getting... We're so screwed this war. We. I, I don't think we're going to be able to use our last sword. Oh my god, you got to be fucking kidding me. Fucking violent procs, man. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. This is so fucked. We're getting so fucked by violent runes right now. God, this is why I hate Violent Runes so much. Like, if there's ever a reason for me to quit this game, it's probably going to end up being Violent Runes. I'm just going to be bluntly honest with you guys. Violent Runes are absolutely cancer in this game. Like, I hate using them. I don't use them on offense, usually. But, like, it's at the point where, like, you have to use Violent Runes or you're at a huge disadvantage. It's 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 so fucked. Please, Violent Proc. I know I'm a huge hypocrite saying I want Violent Procs here, but whatever. Fuck it. We might as well use them since they're already in the game. Oh my god, this Chisun and Iona team is just like sustaining this so hard. Please don't die. Please don't die. One more turn. Please don't die. Please, please don't die. Please, I'm begging you. Please don't violent Brock. Oh my god. Alright, I'm like tempted to revive here with Iona, but I'm just not sure because I uh, he just, uh, he might die. Don't die, 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 don't die. Who? I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. And we can heal up with Iona too. Oh my god, that was just that was honestly that was right there. That was like twenty per, like twenty turns of me just like clenching my butthole. Seriously, like just twenty turns of me clenching my butthole. Oh my god, stop, stop. Endure popped finally. Oh my god, all we have to do is kill Theomars. That's all we gotta do. Wait, Chasun, you better have your freaking heal up, Chasun. Don't don't fuck me at this point. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Uh, 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 no, no! What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. If we get a violent proc here, we can kill this Theomars. No, oh my god. No, because we didn't land any defense break. Oh my god. But we can revive. We can revive, revive here. Come on. Like, okay, he's... Oh, he didn't have Endure? What the fuck? Oh my god, violent proc. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. That... Oh, dude, oh, Jesus Christ, could you like get, get a few more turns? Oh, oh, wait, 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 the draw button's up, draw button's up, draw button's up, draw button's up, which means we can't lose this, which is great, draw button's up, guys, that's actually a really good thing, because even if, if he's about to kill a unit here, we can pause it, hit draw, and then it'll count as a victory when we get to the next one, so that's actually not a bad thing, oh, oh my god, no, we're gonna lose just soon there. Nope, not not doing it. Not doing it. And some got a fake now five. That's fucking retarded, dude. That's so stupid. He has a tanky Theomars, which is like super powerful in that type of defense. But the amount of violent procs he got right there was fucking stupid. That's 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 just that's just broken. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That's just broken. So with this type of defense, honestly, the only way he's gonna win is if you get a lot of crits on Perna, just like that. So, I'm hoping we can get a Violent Proc, because we kind of been fucked over the last match, even though we hit draw, which is good. But, we don't want to lose this. Please, please don't lose this. Pay me back in Violent Procs. I just, pay me back in Violent Procs. Oh my gosh, and Despair Runes are actually doing their job. Keep going, keep going, keep going! Oh my god. Keep going, keep going, keep Oh my god! Fucking Bob Mihail! This battle is honestly taking me like five minutes right now. Like, combined with the first one, it's taking me like five or six minutes. These guys just fucking violent proc heals, violent proc attacks, resets, 
defense break, like the whole shebang, just nonstop. I need to heal up here. Like, fuck these guys. Oh, wait, wait. she can heal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, good. So we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill Perna, so that we could start working on the other ones. Even though, yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. So fuck you, A27. I think this actually counts as a win. So I, I mean, does this count as a win? It's a victory. A victory. Even though we got a draw, it's a victory. Uh, God, that first team is just so stupid annoying. I need to build a copper just for those types of defenses, honestly. Okay, so since we know that we already beat Becca, we're actually just gonna go like go ahead and attack her again or him. I don't know. I don't know if it's a he or she, but we're gonna hit Becca. We're gonna do the same type of offense. I think it could work. I think. I think. Because if we do the same type thing that we did here. Uh, we should be able to clear, no problem. It's the second one that I'm worried about. But the second one is the one that I'm not really familiar with. I never use this offense, guys. And if we get resisted on Sekhmet, it's a Violent Chloe on Shield, or Will Runes. And that's why we have to be careful. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't, don't go for Lagmaron. Don't go for Lagmaron. Don't go for Lagmaron. Stop it. Stop. Oh my god, fucking Violent Brock, stop. <sighs> okay. Luckily, Lagmaron goes before Amir. So I can get his AoE off. Stuns, please. Stuns, stuns. All right, we're 100% losing Lagmaron, but whatever. Fuck it. It's the last sword. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, Violet Runes. Oh my god. All right, the second one is the one I'm worried about. If we get resistance by Chloe, we're absolutely screwed. And we're good. All right. So, oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. And... Oh, oh shit, so that means we're not going to be able to get the second one off. That guy is going to definitely die. Shit. So maybe it's a good thing if we actually kill Chloe on this turn. Really? Are you fucking... Oh my god. Oh, shit. So this is risky. We're not going to be able to get another one off unless we get defense break on the Monkey King. We might be able to get immu uh, immunity on this girl. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We might lose this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, we're so close. Come on. Shit, no defense break anymore. Oh my god, why are you... Yeah, we lost this. Yeah, we lost this. Mm -hmm. Well, we tried, guys. I need a, I need a five-star and actually awaken that could be Nimbus. Uh, so, that was, that's on me. That's definitely on me. So, I think that does it for the Guild War Rush. Uh, we're definitely going to win this sword, but we only have 21 minutes, uh, you know, to use our next sword, which we're not, because... I mean, just just look at this. We have 23 swords unused right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five people AFK, all right? We had Oxy AFK. He was gone. We had Cow AFK, the last war. We had, uh, we had a few others, and then we had some people just not use their last sword. So in total, we had like, I think, almost 30 swords or something like that, maybe more. Of swords that we didn't no 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 it was like 27 swords that we had not used on the last war 27 out of 63 that's almost half that's just that's just unexcusable that's fucking stupid so i i promise it's not gonna happen next week guys we'll have a full uh six swords to use for guild wars but i think we should be fine with legend we uh malicious is in second so we're actually going to be pulling ahead of them and locking them down in efa yeah, unless someone pulls us, actually, 20 minutes left, no one's pulled us, I, j I think it's GG. So, uh, I'll update you guys on our legend status. Alright, so just a little bit of an update on our actual rank. I went ahead and checked, we actually are in legend rank. Surprisingly enough, I think we might be the first guild to get legend rank with only 11 swords used throughout the week. We did get pretty lucky, we didn't get attacked for during rush, and we did pull malicious twice, which was the next contender. But honestly, it was unacceptable. If we would have pu uh, pulled our last sword and actually used it, if we had, you know, not half our guild missing, we would have had legend no problem, And but now at least we got it, like, really close. So here's our actual records. We've gotten Legend like quite a bit in the last five weeks. We've gotten it four times. So that's that's an 80% Legend rank right there for the past month and one week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, definitely have six battles next time. We're definitely taking a hard stance on this. Absolutely unacceptable. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, kind of a little bit of letdown this, uh, at the end. I'm sorry, but I'm super hyped. Legend hype, all right? Legend hype. And we're going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for some arena tomorrow for Sunday. I might rush, might, but at least we're going to do some arena uh, fights. And I uh, will see you guys next time or tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye, guys.